Watch Truth Talk News Live, Fight the New World Order, Fridays, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, on Livestream.com forward slash Truth Talk News. The ocean's dying, the plankton's dying. <laughs> it's people. Soil and green is made out of people. Hmm. So soil and green is people. Pretty insane, eh? Yeah, quite intense. Um, this film has always been. Um, I, I've seen it so many times. I, I a little background. I went to uh, Queens College Film School, um, and I, I studied film and never saw what I know to be the Illuminati symbolisms, uh, the many, many predictive programming elements, how I could miss it just shows how absolutely powerful the mind control, I mean, what else can you call it, Chris, but mind control that we're under here as a nation, right? I mean, I went to study film and until I was 38 years old, which was like, 20 years, well, almost 20 years after I got out of school to wake up and then look at films, I see them in a, such a different way. So we should talk about this film. Um, I'm going to show some images from it. There's that opening image. Did you see that? The opening image is that old per picture with the eye. The all-seeing eye. Right, the all-seeing eye through the picture, and it's showing the old world. And then uh, now, are you are you are you unmuted, uh, Howard? Oh yes, I'm unmuted. Okay. Just so you know. Just because I hear myself uh, talking. Yeah, that's probably because uh, I got a little echo going on here with your speaker. All right. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna debunk this whole entire global warming thing in about ten seconds. Okay. Go ahead. Number one, this is based on fact. This is based on evidence. There's no such thing as global warming. There's a such thing as universal warming, and that is completely natural because Mars, Saturn, Neptune, and I believe it's Jupiter uh, are four planets that are increasing in, uh, in heat. Just, okay? That's the best way to put it. So, and, our, and obviously our planet too would suffer the consequences, the same as those other planets. And the New World Order, the Illuminati, are using that as an excuse to uh, promote their propaganda to say that you know, global warming is the cause for all this stuff, uh, the greenhouse effect, and whatnot. It's a t bunch of total BS. A sacrificial ritual. Self-sacrificial ritual, in a sense. Yes, so this whole thing is like a sacrificial ritual killing. You have the light bulb, the illumination of the light. Uh, using the light bulb as the illumination, and he must work to illuminate the, the light. But who controls the light? They discuss this in the film, too, later on. But he accepts his fate. It's an interesting scene. Very interesting scene. All I know, Howard, is that if I ate that many beans, I'd probably die, too. <laughs> yeah, you got that right. So he just sits there and lets this guy hack at him, and he says that it's necessary. Mm -hmm. I found that, I always found that, you know, it's like, you know, it's not right, but it's necessary. So it's okay to do evil to keep this lie. And then, of course, this is hysterical when you're looking at, uh, they, they, they have no uh, uh, real food, so they're eating garbage. Soiling green is people, as you know. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. so he gets pencils, he can't believe it. He gets all these things and he can't really believe that all this, uh, and then the books, 2015 to 2019. Okay, talking about this oceans dying. What happened recently, you know, with Fukushima? The oceans are dying, man. And yeah. Then, and then these two volumes, and the secret is that the oceans are dying, the plankton is dying, that's the end, the end of the movie. But the truth is that they've come to this conclusion that they can't feed the world anymore, 
and Soylent feeds half of the world, and they make their bio obviously. Well, it's it's Monsanto incarnate. Well, there you go, exactly. You know, and they're depriving, and all these people are being deprived. The collectivists, but meanwhile, on the high end of the scale, they have those bitches in that room, man, doing tarot cards, right? You know, that's coming yeah. up soon too. Well, but like to discuss this, what do you think about this? Because we're watching the scene; they're like relishing over horrible-looking vegetable that you wouldn't buy on, you know, on, if you were really hungry, even crappy beef. But they're freaking—you can't believe it. Well, you know, when you think about it, Howard, this is uh, something that's going to become a reality with Monsanto having a basic monopoly over our food. Yeah. You know, this is the road we're going down if we don't do something about it. You know, I mean, we're going to be eating garbage pretty soon. We're going to be opening up a can of beans and thinking that it's a filet mignon. You know, Uh, we're going that way. It's sad to say, but it's happening. And when they're talking about the volumes of the books from 2015 to 2019 in the movie, we're seeing that right now. Look at the Pacific Ocean. It's being totally decimated. It is unbelievable. Here's the bean scene. Yeah. <laughs> so they like treating the beans like it, yeah, like it was lobster tail and 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 steak. You know, like it was surf and turf. Uh, it's incredible. <laughs> but making a good statement. You know, they really want us to. To, to sort of almost in a way be conditioned to it. So what, like you'd never think it would happen when it happens, somehow you accept it. Yeah. Somehow it, it's not so bad. And later in the movie, I don't think I used that scene. I don't think it's in there, but in the movie, there's a, he says that it's not that bad. And that's exactly what he responds. Yes, it is. It's terrible. It's hard. It's, it's, it is, it's terrible because Charlton Heston is a, is a sheep. This is all he's ever known. And it's not so bad, but he's telling him the old man's telling him it is bad. Mm-hmm. Really and the old man too. He he represents knowledge. He's Correct. the one pedaling the bike. He's pedaling the bike under the illuminated light bulb. Which of he's course the old is man the, with the knowledge. Yeah, the all bearing Lucifer, the light bearer, yeah. the son of the morning star. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, there is a lot of uh, predictive programming in this movie, for sure. And uh, and when was it made, Howard? 1973? It was 73. Yeah, I'm trying to keep moving you around into the right place where everyone can watch it while you're still in there. But, yeah, yeah. 1973. Yeah, so 40 years ago. Think about that. When you, when, you, when, you, when you say 1973, people think, okay, it's not that long ago. But it is. It's 40 years ago. Yeah. Yeah, it's a long time ago. And, yeah. and look how many things that they're discussing are so relevant today in their fraud because they work in long-term cycles, as you know, like with the whole thing's tied into the banking and the control of the money, as you said earlier. So certainly uh, people don't understand. They think in 100 years, 50 years, nothing. They say my grandchildren will see the fruition of the new world order. That's how they think. Here's that yeah. scene. Oh, here's the scene with the um, tarot cards. So... They're using this whole new age religion, you know, to take away God. Like we say, we know there's an attack against God and, and anything that's good, really. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, of course, this in contrast, this woman's screaming over like she got shorted on, on Soylent Green, which is disgusting human people. So then they have the, 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 the battle between the police, the police state, which was never even been considered possible... Uh, right in 1973. Well, exactly. But now you never it is. think. Yeah. You know, I bet when this movie aired way back then, and they saw the police in what what would be depicted as military gear for this movie back in the 70s, due to you know the the side effects, if you will, special effects. But people would be like, "There's no way this is ever going to happen." You know, here, right? You know, right? What people have just seen is a guy with a, ma- a microphone, megaphone. Is that Alex Jones, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta wonder, right? That's funny. Yeah. And then the welfare thing here, she's getting the well, welfare. The, the most important thing, one of the most <laughs> important things I've... Yeah, one of the most important things I, that I've noticed about this film was during the riot and the police state, if you will, in the film, is the, um, the LLF, ELF trucks yes. that we've seen go by. Those weren't even around. Like, the concept of that, to think about that 40 years ago. Yeah. Well, we know their technology is 100 years ahead of what we know. 
So, you know, they, they, they give it into the movies. They call it science fiction. Yeah, indeed. They really do. And then this chick, she's furniture. She comes with the apartment. Wow. Lucky That's Charlton the story. So the guy, and the guy, then the guy goes in there. He's telling her what he likes. And he's like, wonders if she's fun and stuff. So yep. she's just basically a prostitute. She's a maid and a prostitute. That go, and she's furniture. She goes part of the apartment. And there he is, the guy. He's over there and he's saying, you know, tells you like he, he likes to sleep late and have a big breakfast and all this shit. So uh, it's pretty pretty unbelievable when you really break it down. You know, the whole storyline is just uh, about a dystopian future where the people get anything that they want at the top and everybody else is pretty much a slave. Well, if that is ascension, I want no part of it. Yeah, exactly. And then this scene is great where she sort of sounds like a Nazi. There's like this German woman <laughs> <laughs> saying, saying uh, you know, uh, that uh, this is a, telling the truth. She says this is the truth and she's exposing something. And what we all know is that the food is being poisoned and that there is a depopulation plan. But just because it's not Soylent Green... Right? It doesn't have to be soil and green. It's just all of the chemicals that they put in the water, the food, as he said in the beginning of the story. Yeah, um, and they're, they're laying out eugenics right there before yes. our very eyes. Agenda 21 yes. right before our very eyes. Yes, they are. That's exactly what they are doing. And it's, uh, it's blatant. It's blatant. And, uh, you know, I, I, I still can't believe that they can get away with it. I just, you know, it's just, it's just un, unbelievable. People allow them to do this. Now you're, you're in the medical profession and you see them just, they just drip these people, they kill them as soon as they possibly can, especially since you're in socialized medicine world in Canada. So how, how what do you think about Obamacare? I think it's stupid. Of course. To be honest with you, you're taking people's right away from having what, any type of medical exam that they want to see whatever type of physician that they choose, which is their right as a human being to have. And now the government's gonna have control over what what type of exam you can have or what type of medication you can take or what type of doctor. If you go to a doctor because you, you are in need of something and the government says, I'm sorry, but we don't cover that, you're screwed. Yeah, that's exactly and, and right. And they like, they like to compare it to Canada. No, it's nothing like Canada because I have the right and I can walk into any hospital Demand any type of test required, free of charge, mind you. Well, okay, we pay taxes, which are a little higher than you guys in the States. But at the same time, there is no one telling me who I cannot and cannot, who I can or cannot see as a physician, what type of exams I can have, uh, what type of treatment I can have. They cannot say nothing. Right. And, and I've seen CNN try to compare the healthcare system here in Canada to Obamacare. There's a big difference. Oh, absolutely. There's no doubt about it. In fact, you know, it blows me away. Uh, it, it really does blow me away. Um, it's part of the eugenics plan. Um, yeah. And, and so we should be segueing into that whole concept. Now, I've got some background uh, video I'm going to play while we talk about this. And God, there's so much to discuss uh, when it comes to eugenics. It's a slow plan. They've been doing it for a long time, basically since the slave owners lost the slaves and then they continued it on. And it came out of America. It wasn't the Nazis. And uh, here comes a little uh, piece of it. All right. So first it was with Darwin, right? Oh, yeah. So we had Darwin and the origin of the species by natural selection. And Darwin led to the, the Sir Francis Galton. Again, these these... American who were, British sirs. <laughs> yeah, who were related, by the way. You know, I think they were cousins, if memory serves me right. Yes. I mean, even the term social Darwinism was never coined by Darwin himself. Right. I know. And, and eugenics, the whole idea is basically that it's the, the inferiority of, uh, of the blacks. And it's just so obvious what they've done over time to, uh, to blame the ills of society on, on one race. And then Margaret mm -hmm. Sanger, who comes out to help them, creates Planned Parenthood, huh. right? Oh, American yeah. American Birth Control you know. League, and, and she was basically a Nazi, literally, went to KKK yeah. meetings. Yeah, indeed. I mean, you, have you seen some of the quotes by this woman, Howard? Oh, yeah, there are a few of them included here. 
Like Benjamin Hayes, the yeah. black man has never been a competitor, but has always been subservient to the white race. And just so long as he remains subservient, his position is secure. And just so soon as he becomes that, he's a threat until he changes that. So, Watch Truth Talk News Live, Fight the New World Order, Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Livestream.com forward slash Truth Talk News. The ocean's dying. The plankton's dying. It's people. Soil and green. Here as a nation, right? I mean, I went to study film, and until I was 38 years old, which was like 20 years, well, almost 20 years after I got out of school, to wake up and then look at films, I see them in a, such a different way. So we should talk about this film. Um, I'm going to show some images from it. Uh, quite intense. Um, this film has always been, um, I, I've seen it so many times. I, I, a little background, I went to, uh, Queens College Film School, um, and I, I studied film and never saw... Being is made out of people. Hmm. So Soylent Green is people. Pretty insane, eh? Yeah. What I know to be the Illuminati symbolisms, uh, the many, many predictive programming elements, how I could miss it just shows how absolutely powerful the mind control, I mean, what else can you call it, Chris, but mind control that we're well, under here?